we live? We're good. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sam Levy, a proud program director here at the School of Continuing Studies. We're coming to you live from our blue carpet event located just out front of the beautiful and historic Convocation Hall on the occasion of our first ever SCS Celebrates. Tonight is an extremely exciting night for us. It gives us an opportunity to bring together our community of learners to discuss excellence in continuing education and most importantly, to celebrate everyone's successes and accomplishments. Our learners come from all over um, and they have really interesting stories from across Ontario and from the world abroad. And tonight we're gonna have an opportunity to delve into some of those stories and get their perspectives on continuing education. So we've had a few learners who have graciously volunteered to speak with us, the first of whom I'd like to call up right now. So, yeah, come on in, yeah. Hello, and uh, so, and what's your name? Nainisha. Yeah. Okay. And Nainisha Negley. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and where do you come from? Uh, well, I live in Pickering, but originally I've been in the Middle East and India, all over. Yeah. Yeah. And have you been in Toronto for a long time? I have. This is actually my eighth year. Yeah. So I've been here. Yeah. And what program are you completing? Um, so I finished my course in business analysis practices. So I finished, that's the one that I finished. It's a CBAP. Yeah. That's the one. Certificate in business analysis. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, and so there's a question that we'd like to ask. Yes. Um, so um, what is one piece of advice that you would like to share with someone um, who is thinking about taking a, a course in continuing studies? So my advice would be basically if you're thinking of doing it, do it. <laughs> because uh, I've only had positive experiences uh, through the course. It was a set of three different semesters, and it was great. Like, I had, other than just making friends and stuff like that, but other than that, it was great instructors, um, and it's only helped me with my career as well, because I am a business analyst, so I feel like the whatever I've learned through the course has actually helped me in real life, so that's that's awesome. So I would just say, do it if you want to. If you're planning to do it, go ahead and do it. Yeah, Excellent. yeah. So and, and where do you see this taking you in your career? Um, I think it's already helped me in um, in my career in the sense that I was already a business analyst, and whatever I've learned here now, I'm I'm actually applying it. So uh, I think it's helped me a lot in terms of just uh, you know trying out new techniques and doing things like that that I probably did not do before, and they've also been effective at the workplace, so I, I think it's been great. Yeah, it's been great. Well, that's excellent. Th thanks so much for sharing that with us. And, and so while we have you up here, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to or say hello to? Yeah, I'd like to say hello to my sons, Ethan and Evan, and my husband. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, well, thanks very much, and congratulations again. Okay, all right, we'll see you. Yeah, you can exit out that way. Right, yeah, thank cool. you. Thanks. Yeah. And uh, now we have our second learner coming up. Hi there. I'm a Shiraz. Yes. And, uh, and where are you from? I'm coming from Toronto. Okay. <laughs> All the way from Toronto, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And are you originally from Toronto? Or? No, I'm originally from Karachi. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. nice. And have you, you been here for a long time? Uh, about 21 years. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, and what, what made you seek out the school to begin with? Well, I, I came here just uh, because of my um, background mm -hmm. and business and engineering, right, because I do the cost engineering, so oh, okay. the business is involved in uh, the engineering portion, mm -hmm. right, so that's why I came here and took the business analysis course. Oh, nice. Yeah. And, uh, and there's a question I'd like to ask you, mm -hmm. and uh, let's see. So, what did you enjoy about your instructors or your experience in the class? So, um, in particular for, ex in, like, instructor-wise, because um, she was basically from manufacturing background as well. And she owns a company as well, so she was really giving us a practical live ex examples. And uh, because she had a, like a knowledge of uh, manufacturing background, because I'm from manufacturing, so that's why it was really, for me, just very enjoyable, right, just to learn uh, live. Yeah. Right. That's good. And, and how do you see that impacting your day-to-day -day work now? Well, it's it's really it. Uh, I mean, it's impact very very well actually. Uh, it's uh, because now when I looked at it, right, I looked at it as uh, like what techniques I can imp implement, yeah. right, on the day-to-day -day scenario. If it's a different different scenario, before when I was working, is like okay, I have to do the cost, yeah. right, and then that's it, right. Just 
mathematics, but now I looked at it, okay, what techniques, like uh, how can I implement the, let's say, brainstorming, right? right? Who you to choose, right, to include, and how many people I can, you know, contact, uh, how can I comply with the shareholders, right? So those are the stuff which, of course, uh, bring up, right, when I study business analysis. Well, that's excellent. I'm glad there's so much that you could take away. And um, while we have you here, is there anyone you'd like to say hello to or give a shout out to? Hello to all the students, right, who are classmates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's yeah. Nice. So, well, thanks very much for taking the time to chat. Thank you. Okay, take care. Yeah. And we have another learner who is coming up to join us. Hi there. I'm very well, and yourself? Good, fine. Good. And your name, please? My name is Balaji Rajagopal. That's my name. Okay. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Okay. <laughs> Bill works. Sure, sure. <laughs> sure thing. And uh, and where are you coming from tonight, Bill? Uh, I'm coming from my office. I work for Scotiabank. Oh, you do? Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah good, so good. I'm just coming from my office. My family is there. My wife also did a certificate here, so my daughter came to see us. Th she'll be coming next after oh, me. Oh, she will. Okay, yeah. yeah. Great, great. And uh, and what certificate are you doing, or what program do you I, I, The program that I enrolled myself was uh, Big Data Analytics oh, for nice. management. It's a year and a half course. Uh, so that's the one that I, I did, yeah. Ask you a question? Oh yeah. Yes. So, um, I'm just curious. In completing your your program or your course, who supported you the most on your journey? Well, it's a combination of a uh, few people who supported me. Uh, one was uh, my team back in Scotia Bank. So that was the first time we were having an initiative about big data. So my team was very encouraging. And um, then my family. The, obviously, it's a it's a course that I have to come to university. Yes. And I live in Pickering, which is pretty far. Yeah. The problem, the challenge is not during summers, but it runs across winters and also different. So my family was very supportive of me on that uh, front. So my wife and my daughter also were very supportive of that. So it's a combination of both the workplace as well as the uh, the family that helped me to get over that. Oh, that's great. And I'm not young either. I'm 41. So it's kind of, I have to mentally motivate myself. That's when my family came in and said, yeah, you can do it. Right. <laughs> so, so for those uh, learners who may be going to school after a long day at work, what would you say to motivate them or to kind of help them over that hump? Well, what I would say is, uh, so whenever you try to choose a course, just be clear on what you want to achieve. I think you need to look at two parameters for that. I mean, that's what I look at. One is in terms of enhancing your knowledge, which is currently in the market, what you exactly have to be there. And second thing, you need to look at uh, how much is your return on investment. I mean, th both of the things will drive together. Then obviously it's really going to push you and motivate you, even if it's minus 30 or it's like 20 degrees or whatever yeah. it is. Uh, I would say those are the two parameters that you need to look at it and that will really push you out to get, an, get your work done. Okay, well, that sounds like great advice. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind next time I'm thinking about taking a class. So, And uh, while we have you here, do you want to say hello to anyone? Uh, well, I just need to say hello to my wife and my daughter. They're right behind me. Oh, right behind and you. I'm not sure if my professor Jerry is out here, so he was excellent. Mm -hmm. He just took us through the practical uh, work of how it needs to happen. Mm -hmm. Though it's a theoretical, he was able to merge with what we do practically. Yeah. I hope Jerry is there. I'm not. He's looking at it or not. Uh, I hope he's doing good. So these are two people and all my classmates. I mean, they're not young either. They're all 36 and above brackets. So I hope they're doing well in their career. And uh, I want to say hi to everybody. Oh, that's great. Well, Should I see that and say hi? Yes, yeah, there you go. It's a wave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. All right, well, thanks for taking the time. Okay, we'll see you. Bye-bye. And congrats. Yes, OK, yes. And uh, all right, and we have another learner who's coming to join us. Hi there. And your name is? Mira. Uh, Mira, right. Yeah. And, and you are? Nikki. Nikki, OK. So, uh, so tell us uh, a little bit about yourselves. Hey, yeah. we, we are from India. Yeah. We probably moved here eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm working with uh, Accenture as a business analyst now. Oh, nice. And then she's just finished her grade nine. OK, great. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so you're supporting your mom quite a bit through this all Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, great. And, uh, and what certificate or courses are you completing? Uh, I did my uh, certificate in business analysis. Yes. Oh, nice. And yeah, I mean, I started my career as a QA analyst. Yeah. And I definitely wanted to advance my career as a business analyst. Mm -hmm. And definitely this certificate helped me a lot in achieving my goal in that way. It did help me. And it and in the office, I did have some training that also helped me to achieve my goal and then achieve my certification to in a shorter time frame. Oh, e excellent, excellent. And uh, can I ask you one more question? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. So uh, I'm curious, um, you know, how, how do you see completing the certificate is going to help your career? It depends. It 
actually depends on how you're able to apply whatever you have learned mm. in classes or online, whatever, and also depends on the opportunity, but it gives you a broad spectrum of what you want to do from learning so many new things that you haven't learned earlier. Right, yeah. right, right. And are you feeling inspired to come uh, study with us one day? Yeah, sure, definitely. It's difficult. I see how much they study. Both my parents did it at the same time, so it was difficult because with uh, their work and also studying, it was I couldn't see them as much as I would like to. Yeah, well, we appreciate you lending them to us, and uh, we look forward to welcoming you at some point. So, well, con congrats to, to you, and uh, would you like to say hello to anyone while you're up here? Uh, definitely to my daughter, and of course to my husband too, yes. They were both very supportive in what I've been doing, yes. Great. Well, thanks for your time, guys. Okay, we'll see you. And we have one more learner who's going to speak with us, and uh, you'd like to come on up? Hi there. Hello. And uh, your name is? My name is Anthony Olagunju. Okay, great, and a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Yeah. I'm, I'm Sam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, um, and so what, uh, what program are you completing? I took the Lean Six Sigma. Nice. And, and, and why did you choose that program? So I do work as a project manager, and I looked at a lot of... Uh, processes that we do all through the entire project and I thought that I needed a manner to improve all the efficiencies of our work so that we can deliver the project in a timely manner within scope and budget. So that was what led me to taking the Lean Six Sigma uh, program. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's it's a really versatile program, yeah. And uh, I can ask you one more question here. Sure. sure. That'll be <laughs> okay. And uh, so you know, with working and taking school, how did you balance the work-study experience? I must say it was, it was a laborious experience, especially when I started the program, but I, I needed to look at one of the key concepts that I use at work, which is to plan my project from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So I looked at the critical dates that I needed to deliver my deliverables, call it midterms, assignments, and all of those things, and I built a schedule for it. So what I also did with the schedule is to run it by my girlfriend uh, because she happens to be a key stakeholder in this and of course my family members that did support me. And I also applied one of the key concepts that we learned in class, which is the PDCA cycle. So I planned, I checked, act, uh, you know, so that was one of the things that I did. And I must also say that it was one of the moments that I was able to understand my management skills better how to manage my time, and it was a good experience after the fact. Well, it sounds like you took a lot away from it. That's amazing, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, I did. And, and since you decided to share yourself with us, is there anybody you want to say hello to or give a shout-out to tonight? Uh, yeah, of course. I, uh, I want to thank uh, the Almighty God who gave me the grace to be able to do this. And, of course, my parents, they've been supportive all the way. They're back in Nigeria, and my brothers and my girlfriend, they're great people to be with. Oh, yeah. that, that's great, yeah. So, so wave hi to them. And uh, it was a pleasure, uh, pleasure meeting you. Thanks Likewise. for your time. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Take care. All right. Well, uh, unfortunately, that that does it for all of our time this evening. It, as I understand, the procession is just about ready to head into Convocation Hall. So we thank you for taking the time to join us and hear a little bit more about our learners' stories. And we look forward to seeing you in the tent after the celebration. So happy celebrating.
question for you. When I'm reading the names, am I reading the names from here? Yes. Or am I reading, okay, perfect. Yeah, I think it, now with the PowerPoint, mm -hmm. are you doing that as well? Mm -hmm. you be, who's doing it? Who's actually moving it? Yeah. Great question. Because Emmy told me to, whoever was going to be here, I think it's you, oh, wow. was going to advance the slide. We have no idea when you change the slide. Okay. Um, I will talk to Danny. I can, I mean, I can. We have. Probably do it.
Good evening. Welcome to SCS Celebrates, our inaugural event to celebrate excellence in continuing education. My name is Maureen McDonald, and I have the privilege of being the Dean of the School of Continuing Studies at the University of Toronto. As we begin, we wish to acknowledge this land in which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and most recently, the Mississaugas of the Credit River. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. I am so thrilled to welcome you to SCS Celebrates, the University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies first ever learner and instructor recognition event. Over two days, we are recognizing over 700 learners as they cross the stage in celebration of the certificates they completed in 2017. Alongside the learners, we will honor 10 exceptional instructors who were nominated by these very same learners 
for SES Excellence in Teaching Awards. This event has been the better part of a year in the making, and it's a great honour that Professor Cheryl Reguer, the Vice President Provost of the University of Toronto, is with us this evening. Before becoming the University's Provost in 2013, Cheryl was Dean with the Factor Inwintosh Faculty of Social Work. Since becoming Provost, she has continued her faculty appointment at Social Work, along with two cross appointments in the Faculty of Law and the Institute of Medical Science. Professor Reguer has received awards for research and teaching and is co-author of four books and over 100 journal articles. Her research focuses on the intersecting issues of trauma and recovery, social work practice and competence, and stress, trauma, and decision-making in emergency service professions. As provost, her responsibilities are enormous. Her office oversees all academic and budgetary matters at the University of Toronto. To fulfill her responsibilities, she has over 28 principals and deans reporting to her. Cheryl is a longtime supporter of continuing education and of our school, and her support and attendance at this event is greatly appreciated. Please join me in welcoming Professor Cheryl Reguer to the podium. Good evening. It's absolutely wonderful to be here with all of you tonight and to welcome you to our historic Convocation Hall. Convocation Hall has been the place that for the last 190 years, all great achievements are celebrated here at the university and we're absolutely delighted that you're becoming a part of that. Um, it's so wonderful to be here with you today, staff, instructors, and most importantly, our learners who are joining us from across the world today to celebrate your successes here at University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies. I'm uh, going to do something that's distinctly un-Canadian to begin with, and I'm going to begin with a bit of bragging here about the university, but I'm going to apologize for it, so make it a little more Canadian. But uh, University of Toronto is proud to be Canada's foremost research-intensive university and a leading institution on the world stage. Indeed, the latest rankings from the London-based Times Higher Education World University Rankings placed University of Toronto first in Canada and 22nd in the world of all universities for our quality and our research. And among public institutions worldwide, University of Toronto ranks ninth. The Times Higher Ed also ranks universities on the employability of their graduates and they survey 6,000 recruiters and managing directors of major international companies worldwide. And they ask them which universities in the world produce the best graduates. This year, University of Toronto ranked 13th in the world for the employability of our graduates, fifth amongst all, insti all public institutions worldwide. So the school, yeah, I know, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? So the School of Continuing Studies is a critical component of the University of Toronto by fostering and expanding a culture of lifelong learning. The school is a global leader for continuing education and professional development. The landscape of Continuing education is changing with new programs, certificates, and industry requirements. And it is a hallmark of the success of the School of Continuing Studies um, that it has taken all the changes in education and the economy into stride and turned them into opportunities. The school thrives on change, using it as a catalyst to adapt, grow, and ultimately provide the best possible experience for our learners and our instructors. Through the use of new technologies, the School of Continuing Studies is opening up new and innovative ways for students to access learning and education right here in Toronto or from your own home communities across the world. The diversity of our courses and programs and learning options at the school is a reflection of the diversity of you, our learners. You come to us from all walks of life with unique backgrounds and motivations. 
Some of you have looked to the School of Continuing Studies because you wanted to take your career in a new direction or perhaps needed new skills to advance in your current industry. Some of you are internationally educated professionals looking for assistance in adapting your knowledge and skills to a new cultural context. And increasingly among you are new university graduates looking to supplement the education acquired in their degrees with additional career-focused skills. The value of this continuing education in the University of Toronto ecosystem can't be overstated. It provides new and different opportunities to extend our knowledge. It allows us to boost credentials and expands professional networks. I hope that you have found the School of Continuing Studies to have provided you with an intellectual home to explore your interests and enhance your existing education and that the impact that the school has had on your life is nothing less than transforming. By promoting and fostering the value of lifelong learning, the School of Continuing Studies is leading the way for thousands of cur curious individuals to pursue their passions just like you. And it's because of you, our learners and our, so our instructors, that we're so successful. You take what you've learned out into the world and through your efforts, you make the school into a world-class hub for professional and personal development. What we say at the University of Toronto is that there's no question that our high international sta standing is the result of years and generations of dedicated and highly skilled faculty and staff. But it is also built on every one of those uh, people who graduate from our programs and take that education out into the world. It's you who are our greatest living legacy and our most wonderful ambassadors to the world. So on behalf of the University of Toronto, I want to thank all of you for your dedication, your support, and your invaluable contributions to our community. And of course, I want to thank Dean uh, McDonald and the staff of the School of Continuing Studies for making this very day special. You have helped make the school, the university, and our city a better place for all. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your insights and kind words, Cheryl. Back in 1986, Robert Fulgham wrote a little book titled, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. It was pretty basic stuff. Share everything, play fair, don't hit people, put things back where you found them, clean up your own mess, say you're sorry, flush. Live a balanced life. Learn some and think some and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work every day some. And when you go out in the world, watch for traffic, hold hands, and stick together. But we are living in unpredictable times, technologically, politically, culturally, economically. And the lessons we learned in kindergarten, well, sometimes we need more than warm cookies, cold milk, and an afternoon nap to navigate the paths ahead of us. And hopefully this is where the School of Continuing Studies, with our over 685 courses, 100 certificate programs, and 700 world-class instructors can play a role. Tonight we are celebrating the achievements of our learners and our instructors. For our learners, this is a culmination of many hours of hard work and dedication. You've sacrificed in the time you spent with your partners, your family and friends, your communities, and many of you have done this while holding down demanding jobs and substantial personal and professional responsibilities. Completing your certificate is a significant achievement and we are delighted that our inaugural SCS Celebrates has been greeted with such an enthusiastic response. Over the two nights, we'll be recognizing over 700 learners. And in some ways, we're recognizing the support of the people around them in achieving this milestone as well. While we are so thrilled that each of you have made the effort to be with us, we're particularly touched by six learners and their guests who have crossed international boundaries to join us. They've come from Hong Kong, Jamaica, Mexico, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates to be with us. If you see someone wearing a small blue flower on their shirt or blouse, 
This signifies that they have traveled across borders to be with us, so I encourage you to introduce yourself. But recognizing our learners is only part of the reason we're here this evening. Tonight we will honor 10 of our best instructors who are the recipients of the 2017 Excellence in Teaching Awards. Our instructors are professionals who work and are leaders in their chosen fields. They bring their experience to your real or virtual classrooms to help you learn about what is happening right now and what trends are emerging in your workplaces, your industries, or your professions. Through pre-recorded messages, you will get to hear from all 10 winners tonight, and it should become apparent why you, the learners, have selected these recipients for recognition. It is also important to celebrate these award winners alongside you because, quite frankly, neither of you would be here without the other. Kindergarten may have given each of us some important lessons but learning is really a lifelong journey. Our instructors and our learners are demonstrating the value in continuing to build a knowledge base, in exploring new concepts, or in challenging themselves for personal or professional growth. Let's get on with recognizing their successes. Oops, I wanna go up. Not down. All right, everyone. Uh, my name is Christine Collins. I'm the Director of Academic Programs at the school, and I'm very pleased to be your MC this evening, as well as your reader, as well as your slide advancer. So, um, without further ado, I just need to want to clear up a couple of housekeeping, uh, housekeeping items. One thing is, please, I know it's going to be difficult, but please hold your applause. We have many names to get through. Um, and we will have lots of time to hoot and holler and applause and do all the things you want to do at the end. Um, please stay until all learners and award recipients have been honoured. So please don't go out the back door. Come stay here to honour everyone else. That's important. And please don't stand to take photographs. We're good? We're all in agreement? Sounds good. All right, let's get this show on the road. We will first recognize the recipients of certificates in Project Management, Advanced Project Management, and International Project Management. Mohammed Amjad. Laura Aguilar. Richard I. Dennis Amoka. Haney. Marie Solange Balou. Isabel Bellarezo. Jason Bazdeo. Cesar Barreto. Mira Balaji, David Bird, Ferris Breen, Juan Bustamante, Sandra Chavez, Becky Choice, Peter Christensen, Sinan Koparuglu, Tracy Clatworthy, Winston Cruz, Kimberly Devota, Rahul Dakuna, Christine. Marie Claire de Souza, Awalda Delone, Mona Isa, Amani El Assad, Istvan Fabian, Lacramiora Fabian, 
Previn Francis, Shamira Furman, Joe Good, Oriana Garces, Ranjit Gill, Rayed Hamarna. Lena Hellyer, Eileen Gomez, Muhammad Hadri, Aaron Hodgins, Deborah Hitchens, Ria Hossein, Nawar Husami. Sheila Hu. Zermina Iqbal. Murien Jaramohan. Kishiri Karanana Yake, Christina Crer, Afifa Farzana Karim Nasir, Sarah Khan, Hamad Khan, Adwin Lam, Kristen Law, Andrew Lee, Martin Lee, Danraj Mongal. Agnes Menevit, Jack Munsaka, Pulin Mondal, Afsar Manji, Juan Mavo Navarro, Shima Meta. Luis Montoya, Amer Nadim, Frederick Nieto, Lisa Nguyen, Brigitta Olvedi, Fahime Partovifar. Nimesh Patel, Kirti Kumar Patel, Yanesh Pridipal, Isabelle Peltier, Leila Samar Baksh, Sasha Ramutar. Sirani Shiwarain, Saira Sikiera, <laughs> Mohammed Tahir, Ankit Anil Sanai Kurchokar, Rosana Vila, Maria. Vasilevska,
Yezdi Wenya, Daniel Valentiner, Nicholas Vecchio, Balaji Rajagopal, Sean Spirell, Natasha Jesenak, Zane Khan, Sadkain Syed, Muhammad Kashif Nassim. My name is Alain Zogadami, and I teach Farsi at the CS since 1987. I enjoy teaching. Teaching to me is much more than a job. It's a passion. It's a it's a hobby. Continuing education is important uh, because of today's uh, world of multicultural changes and uh, job globalization. Uh, for one to succeed, it's important to uh, stay current globally. A teacher may not know the answer to all of your questions, but they should be able to find the right ones for you. Do not hesitate to ask questions, because it may not only help you, it may help your classmates as well. So just a quick note about our instructors, when we recognize them, we're just going to ask them to stand so that you can see who these amazing people are. Um, they won't be crossing the stage this evening, but we'll stand up and we'll recognize them. So is Ali Reza here this evening? Or Kelly? Let's clap for them anyway and let's applaud the learners. We will now recognize the recipients of certificates in Building Science, Business Analysis, and Business Analysis for Financial Services. Starting with Finney Anchen Kunju and Halai Abdi. Amit Bhatnagar and Gemma Braganza. Jarlin Caden, Julius Carrion, Enkel Dochi, 
Jade Durisami. Miriam Amami Dust, Charles Gu, Gulian Faka Aru, Peter Fernell, Eamon Glavi, Sonia Graderall, Maria. Hardy, Daryl Hewitt, Jennifer Ho, Joanne Huang, Ronaldo Hilton, Amna Ishtai, Guarev Joshi, Kumara Kamran, Bharat Khanna, Nina Kucho, Johnny Kwan, Rupal Lalani. Nanisha Lewis Nigley, Rolanda Lim, Jacqueline Mack, Neela Miller, Samantha Mosier, Muaz Nasir. Rosemary Kachina, Nelia Popova, Prashant Puniani, Julia Purge, Sri Vijay Bharat Petty, Kalpana. Ragupathi, Catherine Robbie, Ravindra Singh, Amer Shiraz, Monica Shaw. Amit Sony, Maria Skinner, Pramila Subasing, Sharad Subedi, Diana Vasquez, Aiden Wallace. Yevgen Zakarchenko, Zainab Zarati, Fateme Zuhuri, Yan Zo, Dr. Michelle Chabin, uh, and the founding and former director of the Mindfulness Meditation Program at University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies. Bye.
My name is Farhad Kushi. I've been teaching courses in the area of program project management and business analysis. All my life, I have had great teachers from the first steps I took into kindergarten, right through high school, university graduate school, even now as I teach and I'm partially retired. Uh, and each one of those teachers taught me how to think about thinking. And so what I love about um, being a teacher is that I have a room full of people that are there to learn something. And then as they're learning, I teach them uh, uh, the curriculum but also an implicit curriculum about how to be better people. Uh, and I think education allows us to be able to nurture that in people and to have a, a better people is to have a better world. So it all started with helping people, right? Sharing and helping people based on what I know. And that's led me to teaching where, you know, I, to I talked about my stories at work, how I did it, what I did, and how I could have done it differently and share all kinds of lessons learned. I had a teacher myself who said, if you're going to be a teacher, the best thing that you can do is teach your students to surpass you. And when they have surpassed you, and you know that they've surpassed you, then you know that your job is done and you can start anew with another student. And I have had so many students that have surpassed me, that are leaders in their field, and it just brings me great delight to be able to see what they're doing in the world. The best teaching moment is when I see in the eyes of my student, uh, you know, something that gives me a sense that they have been able to connect with what I've said, right? And usually it's that I can get a sense of that aha moment in their mind, or these sparkling eyes, which is almost about to, you know, break out in joy of tears because they've understood something. I think that gives me the, uh, the joy and the, that's the special moment for me in teaching. What I love about lifelong learning is that in a classroom, especially in mindfulness meditation, we're bringing people from all walks of life, all cultures, all belief systems, and we come together and we don't work as single bees, we work as a beehive. And we bring our ideas together, our values and our beliefs, and we put those forward and we're changed by each other. And I think that's the way society really lives. Uh, and so it becomes a, a real petri dish for us to be able to experiment and learn. They have to be curious and have to challenge the norm and keep learning and be confident about themselves. The students that I work with, and a lot of them now are adult learners, I encourage them to cultivate their own truths, but to be very discerning about what their truths are because what it is that they think and they know and they practice and they believe really makes them up as people. And so you have to be very delicate in choosing that because it's the way you're going to walk your life and touch other people. Now I do know that Farhad and Michelle are here, so would you mind standing up just to, so we can recognize you? Excellent. All right. We are now recognizing the recipients of certificates in business process management, cloud computing, cybersecurity management, energy management, and enterprise management. Noman Razi, Kwong Kao. Joan Bisar, Anka Cosma, oh. Arji Cristobal, Anna Fukushima. Blanca Gardea, Maged Hanna,
Sharar Garamanian, Satare Jen Buksh, it's the best kids, Pinto Kanampali, David Loveson. Anis Malik, Bruno Morgado, Christopher Perez, Emma Rosal, Dale Robichaud, Luz Sanabria. Kathy Shen, Suresh Waran, Shanmuganathan, Rishi Mohan Singh Sindhi, Sharon Shobaran. Yu Sing Tan, Maria Consuelo Vilas, Michael Wong, Jenny Yung, My name is Natalie, and my field is art history, and most of my classes are about great cities that you want to visit and all the great things you want to see in them. My name is Lorenzo Scocco, and I'm an English instructor at UOT for the English language program. I feel like I've been given the great gift, like I get to be that person who gets them to realize it's not too late and they can still learn, and it's a cliche thing to say, but it's an incredible thing that it does to your soul when you're in a class and you get to take everything that you're excited about that you spent like all weekend prepping for and just say, to get it out there. What I love about teaching is to see my students grow, both in uh, uh, language proficiency and personality, and along with uh, the development of accuracy and fluency, you also see the personality start changing. They become more willing to take risks and more eager to uh, discover more about the language. There have been so many incredible experiences with the, in the classroom or even for myself when I'm prepping for the class and I learn something new because I have to. And then I go into the class and I see people and their faces are bobbing up and down, and that happens more than once. So there's no one moment. When you go over a topic, or when you cover a topic with your class, and you, uh, you learn more about everyday expressions, and then the students, after one week or two weeks, they come to you and they, they use that example, so you, they, they use that expression, and you kind of feel, oh my god, they're really listening uh, to me, they're, they're really focused in class. Continuing education provides a bridge between um, the gap that there is between the, uh, your skills and the skills of the methodology that you should learn for the future workplace. Another aspect that I think people don't talk about enough is how important it is for people to get out of their houses, out of isolation, and with like-minded people. And I find being in a classroom situation where I see uh, people who don't know each other starting to talk to each other and uh, 
get to know each other, they're learning more than just about the subject matter. They're learning about you know, how important it is to be outside and be in the world and stay involved and keep your brain happy. Learning a language takes time, but be persistent and, and be confident and be sure about yourself. Don't worry too much about the details. Just sit back, enjoy the slides that are bringing in and the pictures and the history. And when you're going to least expect it, it's all going to come back to you. Are Natalie and Lorenzo in the house? Not this evening. They'll be here tomorrow. We'll clap for them anyway. We will now recognize the recipients of certificates in Facilities Management, Lean Six Sigma, Licensing International Engineers into the Profession Program with a specialization in Civil or Mechanical Engineering, and Life Science Enterprise. Nicola Adas, Bonita Anders, Audrey Amorato, Carla Belli, Derek Collins, George DeMambro, Christopher Dinocenzo, Takara Donahue. Azim Hasmani, Juan Hernandez, Zlata Izvalava, Ishpunit Kar, Amanpreet Kar, Lee Maloney. Mercy Mandanas, Ekaterina Mistranu, Snelata Pramanik, Anthony Olagunju, Manita Rajbandari. Preeti Schonbeg. Richa Sharma. Sukarinda Singh. Lena Wei. Moez Youssef. Philip Kamchatnov. Ramnarine Persaud. instructor at the School of Continuing Studies teaching project management. My love for teaching really comes from my dad. My dad passed away last year and one of the fondest memories I have is as a child moving around the city with him and he'd have a number of people approach him because he was a prof himself for 40 years and um, they would come up and talk about how he changed their lives by how he taught and how he inspired them. And really, my love for teaching has come from that. Well, it's been 32 years since I graduated from the University of Toronto. And over the course of those 32 years, I've had some remarkable work experiences that have 
taken me all the way around the world. And I'm at the stage in my career now where I feel it's right to give back and provide guidance to others. And I particularly enjoy when learners approach me with a genuine spirit of wanting to learn. My best teaching moments would be getting good feedback and, and really feedback, not about how I'm instructing, but the fact that they're getting the content. And one of the best moments I've had in that respect is uh, once as a group, I could tell they weren't quite tracking with the concept. And it's labor relations, so a lot of individuals haven't been exposed to labor relations stuff. So we were trying, I was trying to find different ways, and I took to charades, and it became uh, quite a thing, and everybody was having fun. And, and it just goes to show when I saw the collective light bulb go off, that people really learn most when they're having fun. Well, normally in a class, I like to ask in a show of hands with the class, how many people have actually had the opportunity to apply something they've learned in the class in the real world, in a real job? And I'm always gratified by the quantity of people who put their hands up. And I then follow up with the question asking, so can people give me some examples? And that becomes a validation then. And I can see then from listening to the real world examples that I have succeeded in making a positive difference in the world. As far as I'm concerned, you should never stop learning. And, and one thing I can say is as an instructor, when I'm in a class, um, and the class is so diverse with different experiences and different, um, different ways of looking at life, that I'm learning as well. So the one thing with continuing education is it, it really feeds the opportunity for people to continuously learn. Well, as the speed of societal and workplace change keeps increasing, I think it's more important than ever before anyone who's working keep themselves current and also reinvent themselves periodically. The modern workplace is demanding workers who have a broader general subject matter expertise than just the strict subject matter expertise. And it's also demanding workers whose knowledge and skills are current and relevant. Participate um, and really get engaged in the content and don't hold yourself back from ans answering questions because you think you don't know the perfect answer. You can always find a way to relate to the content and you bring insights when you bring your own experience to the class. So play full out, participate fully, and uh, again, embrace the content. Your instructors are not just there to read out slides in the class. They're also there to provide advice and guidance for you as well. Perhaps you have a workplace situation that could benefit from the advice from an instructor who has a wealth of experience in that area. Or perhaps you're looking for career advice from an instructor with a wealth of experience in that area. So my advice, therefore, is don't be shy to ask for help and guidance from your instructors. I know Gary's here. Is Laura here as well? Let's stand up and recognize these great instructors. almost near the end and you're all doing incredibly well. We are now going to recognize the recipients of certificates in Management of Enterprise Data Analytics, Mobile Business Technologies and Applications, Operations and Supply Chain Management, and Strategic Management of Enterprise IT. Rebecca Furtado. Junaid Jawed, Mahad Aden, Andrew Ahmed, Syed Ahmad, Talant Aliyev. Oksana Andriuk, Sikander Aftab, Emmanuel Benjamin, Gabriel Barros, Ronnie Boudou, Carla Kuhlman.
Ann Dow. Marco Dimovic. Sikander Gaffar. Izaz Ul Haq. <laughs> Karim Hamazni. Aravinda Jayawikrema. Michelle Jiang. John Maskey. Sutya Sri Kanithi Kamana. Mircha Pilaf. Ria Ram Singh. Fernando Santa Maria. Jiganesh Shah. Leah Silva. Naresh Sirwani. Victoria Chacheva. Muna Sheet. Willa Wang. Diana Tarango. Vladelena Tolokolonikova. Now, before we show the final awards video, let's give it up for all of the amazing learners here this evening. Of your life when you go to school, and that was basically the model that I grew up with. 
he is really passionate. Things are changing so rapidly that I think for people in most professions to stay on top of that profession, they're going to have to be continually developing themselves. So I think that very, very soon, that within my lifetime, continuing education is really going to be supplanting the normal university model, and this is what people are going to be doing. I tell them to believe in themselves and to be themselves. It's so important to know who you are, to know where you come from, and to know where you're going, and to know that whoever you are is okay. I would say, particularly for a continual learner, you've got to really look at yourself in the mirror really honestly and ask yourself whether or not it's important that I achieve this particular body of knowledge or this particular designation. Because it's very, very difficult, particularly if you're working full time, to then after work come and dedicate the time and spend the hours. So the first thing that I always qualify, is this important to you in your life in some important way? If it is, you'll have the chance to be successful. But if it's not, then probably it's best to just to save your time for it. Aisha and Michael, if you'd like to stand up. Congratulations to all of you. We're fortunate that five of our award-winning instructors are with us this evening, and, and you've already seen them, but would Michelle Shaban, Farhad Kershed, Michael Holinka, Gary Wild, and Aisha Khan please stand once again to be recognized? We are so grateful to you and to all our instructors for the great work you do for the SCS and for our learners. If you grabbed a program for this event, you'll note in my remarks that I called on you to think back on learning achievements when you were a child, the first time you were able to tie your own shoes, or the first time the letters on a page transformed into words you could suddenly understand. As adults, our expectations around achievement are much higher. But that craving for a sense of accomplishment and the excitement of unlocking a new part of the world around us is still there. Your presence here tonight is proof of that. I hope you take some time to reflect black on this learning journey and your accomplishments. While this feeling is still fresh, I encourage you to think about what is next in your learning journey. How can you build on all that great stuff you learned in kindergarten? As you collected your certificate, you were given a swag bag. Inside, you'll find our brand new 2018-19 calendar, which just came out today. Take some time to read the captivating learner and instructor stories and see yourself in their successes. And I ask you, what's next? <coughs> Take some time to figure it out over a complimentary coffee or tea using the gift card in your bag. And when you're ready for your next round of learning, use the SCS $100 gift certificate towards your next course with us or share it with someone you might think might benefit from the gift of learning. I'm sure it's no surprise to hear it takes more than a village to stage this event. <coughs> so a quick moment to recognize the teams of people that were instrumental in pulling this off. We want to thank academic and campus events, academic and campus events tech support, Scotiabank Information Commons, U of T Facilities and Services, Office of Convocation Hall, Pegasus Catering, and lastly, our amazing SCS squad, a team of 25 staff members who've helped bring this event to life. So thank you. Whether you're joining us tonight to receive your certificate 
or a guest or an instructor, you've taken the step toward being a member of the SCS learning community. I continue to be inspired by all of you, and I thank you for choosing the School of Continuing Studies. On that note, the formal portion of the evening is drawing to a close. Before we conclude and move to the plaza tent for a reception, it's a tradition at these events to conclude with the singing of our national anthem. I would ask everyone, if you're able, to stand and join in the singing of O Canada, led by SCS staff member and learner Emily Sanford. It's time to celebrate. So we'll move to the plaza tent. Um, just file out as you were, and uh, we'll see you outside. <laughs>